Hey there, I'm Alex Feisley, and today I'm going to walk you through how to install NetMaker. So first of all, you can find our instructions in a couple places. You can just go to our GitHub repo, uh, github.com slash gravital slash NetMaker. We have the instructions there. You can also go to our docs, docs.netmaker.io, and we have the quick install steps here. Um, Beyond that, if you don't want to self-host or deploy NetMaker on-prem, you can just use our SaaS platform and sign up there. But today we're going to walk through how to set up NetMaker on-prem, and specifically the pro version, though it's about the same steps for both. So the first thing I'm going to do since I'm doing pro is go to my account at account.netmaker.io. And here we have some setup instructions, which links us back to the docs for the professional setup. Uh, and I'm also going to go to manage tenant. And over here we have our license key and tenant ID, and we can use this to set up our server. So what are we going to need to install NetMaker? Well, we're going to need an operating system, a VM. So this should be cloud hosted. It should have a dedicated public IP. We prefer Ubuntu, uh, the latest version, whatever that is, though most types of Linux will work. But if you want the best experience, go with Ubuntu. Uh, minimum resources, about a gig of RAM, a CPU. So you can use a pretty small device to set this up. Uh, you can use whatever cloud provider you want. And then we have some firewall rules here. So there is quite a few ports you're going to want to open up to get the best experience, though not all of these are mandatory. So over here in DigitalOcean, I have a droplet already set up for this. So I have a VM running um, Ubuntu. And actually, you can see that here. I'm logged in. Uh, going back to DigitalOcean, you can see I've set up a firewall. So I've got SSH access set up. I've got DNS, TCP, and UDP. Uh, I've got HTTP and HTTPS access. Uh, we've got a couple here, ports here for Mosquito MQTT traffic. We've also got TCP and UDP for port 51821, which is not mandatory, but it's good to have as a backup for WireGuard traffic. And lastly, we have UDP 443, which a lot of people forget, not just TCP, but UDP 443, which is our default port for running WireGuard. So that's everything. Make sure you have your firewall set up. And then you need a DNS entry or maybe several. So over here, the easiest way is to put a star dot or wildcard subdomain, which will be used for your server. So several DNS entries are going to be used or generated by the install script. Here I'm just using star.demo. Uh, but what you can do is set up each individual record. What's going to get generated mostly is uh, the netmaker.demo.netmaker.io domain, or the dashboard.demo, apologies, the api.demo, and a couple others, which you can see in our docs. But again, I recommend the wildcard. So then the last thing we're going to do is just go ahead and run through our installation script. And you can find this installation script again in our docs, in both the pro setup and in the quick install setup and on our GitHub. So it's the same script we use for all of those. And I'm just going to go ahead and run that. So this is going to install everything we need. And it's also going to give us the instructions that we need for running everything. Okay, so it's going to ask us for our domain, and you can use this custom generated one, or you can use your own, and we definitely recommend using your own, so that sometimes this one doesn't work depending on if there's availability. The server can get crowded with that, so definitely try to use your own if you can. So we set up our wildcard for demo.netmaker.io. So we enter that, and it'll ask us if everything's right. So these are the what the um, domains will look like. So we should be all set. Let's say yes. Email address for domain registration. So here it's going to ask us for the license key for the pro version. So again, that's going to be over in my account management. We have license key. So I'm just going to copy that and put it in. Tenant ID, copy that, put it in. Okay, and everything looks good, so let's go ahead and install.
So for the sake of time, I did fast forward through a couple of those install steps. So just be a reminder that you might have to be a little bit patient. And I think it could take up to five or maybe even 10 minutes, depending on your setup. But then once you're done, you can go to your dashboard link and you can log in. So let's head over here. All right, and once you're there, you can go ahead and create your admin user. And it will ask you if you want to get updates for NetMaker. You don't have to do that, but this can be helpful just to know when new versions come out, if there's any major security things you might want to take care of. But we're going to go ahead and skip that. And here we are in our dashboard. So we're all set up. Uh, one thing you might want to keep in mind is we do have a settings tab here. So over here, you can change your server settings, including setting up your security and authentication. So adding in OAuth and IDP sync. Um, you can also set various other server side settings uh, that are pretty important. So just remember that you might want to set this up depending on everything. And you can view these in some of the advanced server installation docs. So thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you all again in the next video.